If you've just started Eivor's journey, you'll most likely be looking for some tips and tricks to help you get through the early game. There's lots to learn in Valhalla, including brand new systems that we've never seen before, and a shift towards a trickier, souls-like combat. We're here to make your journey through 9th century England a lot smoother, by letting you in on some handy pointers that'll get you off to a good start. Give me a hand! Let's dive into the wonderful world of Vikings and set you up for a jolly siege of the British Isles. Leather and iron ore are two of the most common resources in Valhalla. You'll mainly use them to upgrade weapons and armour, but don't spend all your resources on swords and shields straight away. Save them for expanding your rations and quiver first. It's best to start with rations, as every time you consume these, they'll give you a significant health increase. If you can have three of these at your disposal early on, you can avoid dying too often in combat. Once you've done that, use the remainder to expand your quiver. Every arrow is essentially a free kill in the early game, and you'll need the extra ammo, as ranged weapons like the Recurva Bow start with a measly 5 projectiles. You'll also want to match your playstyle with your weapons and armour. The game doesn't explain this very well, but it's super important. Spend some time looking at the skill tree and see which school takes your fancy. Raven for stealth, wolf for ranged, or bear for heavy. Then check whether you've got armour and weapons matching that school equipped. In each skill tree, there are nodes that only offer boosts if you're wearing items from that chosen playstyle, whereas armour comes in sets that provide specific bonuses for wearing all five pieces from the same school. Valhalla starts in Norway, which is a huge area covered in icons, but spoilers, you quickly set sail to raid the English coast after the opening story missions. Arriving in England unlocks several essential features, including the settlement system, but it's worth tracking down every book of knowledge before leaving Norway. Books of knowledge grant Eivor permanent abilities, so you'll want as many as possible to make combat easier and more fun when you arrive in Britain. There's a fantastic ability in the mid-game called Rage of Helheim. You can grab this by heading behind the waterfall in the easternmost part of Rigia Filki. Mark of Death, found in the Orchestrad, is also worth searching for. One of the best skills available in the early game is called Advanced Assassinations. You can find it in the School of the Raven in the lower left of Valhalla's huge skill tree. Usually, assassinating high-level enemies won't outright kill them, but with Advanced Assassinations, a quick time event will trigger during the kill. If you nail the QTE, you'll kill mini-boss baddies and other difficult enemies instantly. You can leverage this skill to punch above your weight class in raids and access high-level resources and early gear. Speaking of which, as soon as you arrive in England, you'll set up your camp and start the main questline. However, it's worth raiding as much as you can before getting stuck in. This way, you can acquire the supplies to unlock important settlement buildings. Construction reveals the game's most fun features, like raiders' contracts, legendary animals, the Order of the Ancients, and more. You should see several raids available to you in your immediate area on the map, many of which may look daunting at first. But if your power level is in the early 100s, you should be able to manage them with tactical use of stealth and abilities. Raids end when you open every supply box at the camp or monastery. The best plan of action is to lure and assassinate the heavy hitters first, blow the horn, force the doors open, steal your loot, and then make a quick escape. After that, it's time to head home and enjoy fleshing out your settlement early. Remember Sekiro's Makiri counter? It was the ability to let you dash into an unblockable attack and counter it. Valhalla has its own high-risk, high-reward version called the counter roll, and this makes the game's unblockable attacks blockable. Once again, this can be found in the Raven skill tree, far west from the starting point. Once unlocked, if Eivor dashes towards an enemy, they'll be tumbled over and opened up for a deadly backstab. This move becomes essential once you start encountering Dark Souls style boss fights, in which enemies have big health bars and giant stagger gauges. It'll keep you from getting nicked by the tip of a spear and desynchronizing. Once you have enough supplies from your early raids, your top priority should be to unlock the stable just past the long house. This will let you buy mount upgrades from Rowan, such as the horse swimming upgrade. If you've ever lived in England, you'll know it's a wet place but this skill lets your horse plough through the deepest bodies of water with relative ease. There's a lot of travelling by horseback in Valhalla, so this skill is a massive time saver, so pick it up as early as possible. 
And there you have it, 7 tips you'll be glad you learnt before dipping into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out other Valhalla guides on PCGamer.com.